AOSP Android 14 for Raspberry Pi 5. Hey guys, my name is Shihabdul and welcome to my channel, IT Samurai Teacher. If you didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So what does AOSP mean? It's an Android open source project. It's an unofficial port of the latest Android 14 operating system to the Raspberry Pi 5. It's not created or supported by Google or the official AOSP team, but by independent developers like Consta can. So what does it do? It transforms your Raspberry Pi 5 into an Android device, allowing you to run Android apps and games access to the Google Play Store, enjoy an Android TV like experience with remote control and tinker with open source nature of Android development uh, purposes. So what are the benefits of installing on your uh, Raspberry Pi? You will get the latest Android experience, get the newest features and security updates of Android 14. You can use your uh, old Raspberry Pi 5, 4, 3, 10, uh, that Raspberry Pi into a media center, gaming device or educational tool. The like next one is you can do a development platform, experiment with Android development on actual hardware. And also you can do customization, tweak the system to your liking. So you can do tweaking, uh, you need to be an advanced user for those kind of stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and download the package. First, you go to the kongstarkang.com. This is the official page. In your right side, you will see a bunch of uh, project. In the project, you can see Raspberry Pi 3, 4, and 5. You can use the uh, any version for your Raspberry Pi hardware. If you have 3, you can download 3 or 4. This video, I'm going to use my Raspberry Pi 5. So I'm going to click Raspberry Pi 5. So once you click, you will get a, another one. And we're going to use AOSP Bells. The next video, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to show you how to install. And we're going to discuss about this version. And today, we're going to use AOSP Android 14 for the Raspberry Pi 5. OK. Once you click, you will see AOSP Android 14 for Raspberry Pi 5 and the date up to date. And you have a bunch of information here and he mentioned for this is advanced users only. Uh, you know, you don't need to be an advanced user if you want to play around and it's very easy. You can play around the uh, Android system with your Raspberry Pi 5. If you want to do some tweaking, uh, probably you can do your own research and learning and play around. Now we have some uh, license uh, mentioned. Please read this carefully. Do not use for commercial. If you want to use a commercial, you can uh, contact him directly. Now you will see after uh, this image, uh, there's a two version AOSP to the date and Kongsta can RPA 5 zip and after that the same one OTA zip so what is this two so the first one this is the full image file this is the entire operating system image for your Raspberry Pi 5 it includes everything you need to run Android 14 from the kernel to the user interface so for this installation for this one, requires a flash in the entire image, uh, your micro SD card. We're going to show you, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to show you how to uh, do that. It's very simple, easy. So normally this is uh, ideal for fresh installation on the new M a micro SD card. Or if you want to complete system image backup. The second one is, you can see the OTA zip. Uh, this is the update package. This file contains only the changes needed to update existing uh, AOSP installation on your Raspberry Pi file. It's much smaller than full image. So this uh, installation uh, requires custom recovery environment, TWRP. I'm going to explain about this TWRP in a moment. So in uh, to install on your uh, Pi and the OTA package, OTA package, 
uh, in the flash uh, flush within the TWRP to apply the update. This process is faster and easier than the flash in the full image. So normally this use case was suitable for updating the existing AOSP installation to be to the latest version without losing data or settings. So once you install this, after that if you have some updates, you, you can use this. Got it? So now let's talk about what is TWRP. TWRP stands for Team Bin Recovery Project. It's a custom recovery environment that replaces the stock recovery partition on your device. Uh, think of it as a special boot mod with the more features than the standard recovery. It allows you to uh, flash the custom ROMs and kernels, wipe data and cache, backup and restore, uh, some kind of advanced options. So what is this OTA, okay, OTA package? So um, OTA stand for over the air update. It's the official method provided by manufacturers to deliver software updates to your device wireless, wirelessly. When OTA update is available, you can download and install it directly on your device through settings menu. Uh, it's convenient and safe way to keep your device up to date with the security patches and, and new features. Okay, let's jump into the full image. I'm going to click this. Remember this HTTPS uh, DL upload .com. Uh, It's a file share link. I'm going to explain you now. So when you so when you click this, you will prompt here. Uh, so you don't have a direct link, so we need to download from here. Unfortunately, this is uh, some tricky because it's not tricky actually. There there are a lot of advertisement. So now when you click here, do not click premium access or do not click anything else. You will see uh, depend on your machine. If you have a D block. You don't see anything, okay? Uh, if you don't have AD block, you will see a bunch of advertisement. You have no idea what to click. So when you click free access, you can see there's a two tabs open. One is uh, opening up, and now say downloads ready. Uh, this is the confusing part, and uh, sometimes it's tricky because you're going to download. They have no idea, and sometimes malware or some kind of junk. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to the original uh, menu file. And you can see in here, I'm not a robot. I'm going to click that. So now always check this file size. See, this is the file size. So now you need to click start download in here. Always be cautious. Now you can see the file size is downloading. Now if it if you check the file size smaller than this, then you have you need to get idea. Okay, this is not the file I supposed to download. If it's more than this size, it's also fake. So make sure you download the same size, the same file. Uh, so I don't know why he used these links, but anyways, we need to be very careful when we download something from the internet. Now, depend on your internet speed, it takes some time. Once you download, we're going to jump in for the installation process. Now, I think uh, we are done with the file download. I'm not going to show you how to install the Raspberry Pi image. If you want to know, please check my uh, videos. I will show you a couple of different videos, how to install the Raspberry Pi image. Once you install the Raspberry Pi image, uh, you need to unzip this file, the one that we download. After that, we use the Raspberry Pi 5 and choose the operating system. Go down, use the custom. Once we uh, unzip this zip file, you can see this is the PI image file. Double click and choose the storage and next, next and install. After you install the SD card, take out the SD card, put it into your Raspberry Pi 5 and boot it up. Now I'm going to show you uh, once the boot is screen. Okay, here's my Raspberry Pi file. Image is done. I'm going to insert. 
Power. Okay, now Android is booting up. You can see on my Raspberry Pi 5. Now I don't have any uh, touch screen device. I'm using my keyboard and mouse. I'm using the mouse pretty fast. I mean, it's pretty uh, very cool. You can do a lot of things. I can connect to my internet. IT Samurai teacher. There's a storage and the system. All the, the things you can play around. Entire Android system on your Raspberry Pi 5. If you have four, you can install four. Now you have uh, settings, you can change anything you want. This one, you can install games, Netflix, you can watch videos. I mean, the uh, the quality is amazing. I watched some YouTube videos. I'm going to show you again. It's pretty forward. I mean, very nice. So you can see all these videos. And also uh, the speed, speed is good. It's not like like Raspberry Pi opening a terminal or anything like that. Very fast. Look at the when I try to open a YouTube, it just pop up and I see the HD quality. I mean, I don't have a RDP session right now. Uh, recording with my phone and even from the phone, you can see how quality is. Quality is very good. Now you can see all the details. Uh, I wish I have a touch screen so I can play around. If you want to play around with this operating system, this is free. Uh, don't use for commercial. If you want to use the commercial, just send an email to the person who built and you can uh, play around and you can gain the knowledge and you can do your own studies. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next one. If you find this channel helpful and would like to support my channel, please consider making a donation through buymeacoffee.com. Believe me, every little bit helps in bringing more such educational and engaging content to you. Thank you so much.